Well, uh, hello. Uh, my grandson, Louis, a uh, smart kid, by the way, <laughs> asked me about cryptocurrency, and I decided to give it a bit more thought than I had in the past. So here goes. So the, so the question is, uh, should we use cryptocurrency? Well, look, let me begin by saying that I would never personally consider investing in anything of this complexity or novelty simply because I just don't thoroughly understand it. If I did, it might be different, but at the moment, I don't. Anyone who does so invest without all that knowledge is, is simply being naive and far more likely to get scammed, by the way, by those who really are on top of it. But of course, there are those who would argue that cryptocurrencies represent the future and that the eventual transition to them is inevitable. Uh, having said that, I'll now go on to address the arguments. First of all, what about those who say, yes, uh, yes, we should uh, embrace cryptocurrencies. They will eventually take over the world. Well, first of all, we're all using virtual currency anyway, and we have been for many years. I mean, I get all of my various sources of income by transfer into a bank account, and virtually all of my expenditures are made with debit cards. This is virtual money. I rarely see any currency coins or or anything like that. Uh, also, cryptocurrency is uh, more secure because of the nature of the technology, always assuming, by the way, that it works as well as it's claimed. To anyone who says that it, it is not secure, I would ask why my bank goes to such huge trouble to warn me about scams and makes me go through about four different security steps before I can even look at my account balance. I suspect deep down that my bank account is probably less secure than a good virtual setup. That's a quite a revolutionary thought when you think about it. And the uh, virtual world, of which cryptocurrency is, is a part, is something being heavily pursued, invested in by the big tech companies in the name of the metaverse. It's, it's all coming. They're, they're serious about it. Uh, that's simply becoming the way of the world. Cryptocurrency is legal tender. It's just a logical example of that and, and, and an extension of the use of the virtual technology that is now becoming so dazzling and so effective and it seems to be working so well. And to those who would say that we should not use a virtual currency because it's abstract, it's not backed by anything real, it's just out there in the ether, I would say all the world's currencies are like that as well. Uh, years ago, many currencies were backed with corresponding amounts of gold. None are now. Uh, Switzerland, I think, was the last country to go off the gold standard, and they did so some years ago. So we're all in the same boat, really. And to those who would say that you shouldn't consider using cryptocurrencies as a mainstream form of uh, legal tender, because it's the refuge of criminals and money launderers, I would suggest you look at the way Swiss banks still hide the money for criminals and also look at the number of crooked banks in every country, including England. Our biggest bank is just constantly being caught uh, behaving badly in this regard. Uh, traditional banking arrangements cannot hold their heads very high in this regard either. Uh, so, in conclusion, uh, my argument in favor of cryptocurrency would be that it will triumph over traditional legal tender simply because it represents the future and is supported by modern technology, not ancient tribal customs like uh, trading food for beads or by the reliability and probity of traditional banks or the dubious promise of national central banks. Hey, look. Embrace the 21st century <laughs> and everything that is going on. It's, it's all change and we might just as well get used to it. And cryptocurrency is just one more good example. Well, how about those who are dubious, uh, frightened, uh, uh, skeptical, uh, who say, no, we should not embrace cryptocurrency. We should stay away from it. Well, they would say, look, this is crazy stuff. It's a voodoo economics. Uh, it reminds me of Bernie Madoff's promises, of, of Ponzi schemes, the famous tulip 
craze of a couple of centuries ago, even the famous South Sea Bubble. The promise of making something out of nothing always turns out badly. And grow up and recognize that and, and protect yourself with that kind of knowledge. The fact that so many criminals are using cryptocurrencies to move their ill-gotten gains around tells you right away that this is an area that you should avoid like the plague. Uh, not only do they move their, their money around, but they'll figure out a way to move yours out of your account as well. So be sensible and stay away. Uh, this, this is a, a dangerous area. It's one that hasn't been proven. It's only just getting started, uh, uh, and uh, you would be well advised to forget about it. Well, uh, that's a pretty somber and pessimistic view of the uh, whole situation. What's my take on it? Well, my take is uh, similarly uh, kind of negative, and, and it's, it's modest about my own ability. Virtual currencies may well take over the world and become legal tender everywhere, but a bit further down the road. However, I don't want to be one of the pioneers because I don't really understand it, and it would be foolhardy of me to pretend that I do. So I'm just going to hang back and wait, and I suggest that you do so too. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, I imagine most of you will probably agree with that, but uh, in any case, if you do, please do the usual. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, comment, uh, notify, and I'll see you at the next one.